said yesterday that uh, uh, righteousness is a free gift and holiness is, is, is the lifestyle that that righteousness produced. So I don't that out of that. And that's the truth. Amen. Amen. Holiness is, the, is the, the lifestyle that your righteousness produced. That's right. Y'all right. got amen. And, and you actually received holiness when you got born again. You got it? Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, you may access a different level of consecration, but you can't get no more holier than you were when you first got born. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y'all got that? Mm -hmm. How many of y'all understand that? Mm -hmm. Amen. And so a lot of times people look at holiness from a legalistic perspective, and uh, and they, they think, you know, that the qualification is wrapped up in a whole bunch of do's and don'ts. You follow me? All right. <laughs> and there are some things that you shouldn't be doing because you are holy. That's all right. Right. <laughs> right. Nah. right. Nah. Y'all got it. Nah. Amen. But your holiness is not a product of your works. Amen. Amen. Y'all got that? Amen. Amen. Uh, we were saved by faith through grace to good works. Yeah. That's right. Y'all got to do good works. Amen. But the good works don't save you. Right. Yeah, because I've been saved, I do good works. Amen. Y'all got it. Amen. I'm already holy. Right. Amen. How many of y'all understand? Amen. I mean, you know, think about it. You know, there have been people who have gotten born again. Oh Lord Jesus. Who have gotten born again, and once they confess Christ, they went immediately <laughs> home to be with the Lord. You know, you, you, and they were all right because they, you know, they were holy enough, right then. Y'all got it. Amen. So uh, before they stop wearing this and, and eating that and drinking this or drinking that, you got it. Amen. And so, so, so thank the Lord for that. Amen. So I beseech you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, uh, that you present your bodies in what living a living sacrifice, holy, right? <coughs> The body already holy, right? Yes. After you receive Christ, acceptable <laughs> unto God, which is a reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye what? Yes. In other words, he said, holy people don't conform to the world. You just need to be taught how you're supposed to conform. Amen. Right? But be ye transformed by the what? The renewing of your mind. Amen. That you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. And on last Sunday, I, I started talking to you about uh, the renewing of the mind. Amen. And I'm going to keep on in that vein today. Uh, yeah, I believe it's going to bless you. Amen. And it's so important because mind renewal is an ongoing process. Y'all got it? It's an ongoing process. Amen. Uh, something that you ought, to, you ought to do it all of the time. That's the whole purpose of, of, of studying your Bible and going before God on a daily basis so that you can keep your mind renewed, keep it afresh uh, with the presence and the knowledge of God. Y'all got it? Y'all all right with that? That's why you just can't come to church one time and think you're going to be all right. Amen. Because see, this is the deal. Uh, your mind is renewed whenever you come into the house of the Lord. Is that not true? Amen. But once you leave the house, when you get out there, there's a whole bunch of stuff trying to, you know, trying to counter that process, isn't it? Trying to, trying to renew it all over again <laughs> to something else. Do y'all agree with that? Amen. A amen. And so, uh, and, you, and a lot of times you, you give, you know, your mind exposure uh, to the things that are in the world more than you do to the things that are in God. Mm -hmm. You got, and when you do, you don't have to do that, but sometimes people do it. You know, they, they just have justifiable reasons that they claim, you know, I can't read, I can't study, I can't pray because I got to go to work. Okay, and then when you go to work all day long, somebody trying to renew your mind. Amen. You got, it. and then you know if you don't be careful, you be wondering why. You know, I'm feeling like I ain't got no fight in me. I, I ain't got no resisting in me. Resist the devil, and he'll flee from me. And I, I just ain't got nothing in me to resist. It's because you have not been renewing your mind on a consistent basis. You got it. You have to quote that scripture more than one time. Submit yourself therefore unto God, resist the devil, and he'll flee from you. you. 
Amen. You got, man, you have to go to listen, you have to go to bed with 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 uh with, with the word on your mind. Amen. You know, yeah, lately for for some reason, you know, you know, I started to say out of the blue, but for some reason now, when 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 I'm going to sleep, I'm laying there trying to uh quote, I mean uh quote all of the, the books of the Bible. You know, I'm laying there going Genesis, Exodus. Are y'all all right? Uh, uh, Leviticus, Deuteronomy, you know, Numbers. Yeah, I'm, I'm, and I'm going to sleep. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. I like that. Y'all right. Y'all got it. Philema, you know, Galatia. Y'all are, right. and I think I'll be going to, going to sleep. And then some of James, Jude, <laughs> Revelation. Y'all are, right. right. amen. Amen. And, and last night I started doing the battles. Oh, Y'all Revelation, Jude, James, first, second, Peter, and just start. Yep. Okay. Come. Okay. Amen. Y'all ain't ready yet. Go ahead, I bet my spirit man was yep, ready. Are y'all alright? And then a couple of nights ago, you know, I was saying Genesis, that's when God created everything. Y'all alright? And, and in Genesis 1 and 26, he created man. Uh, Y'all in the second chapter, he put Adam in a deep sleep and he slept. <laughs> Y'all got it. He went out. Are you all in the third chapter? The devil deceived Eve and made Adam disobey God. I'm, I'm trying to go to sleep with all this. In the fourth chapter, Cain killed his brother Abel. Oh. The first murder that happened in the Bible. Are y'all right with that? Amen. The fifth chapter, man's sin just got increasingly sinful. Sixth chapter, God found a man called Noah. All right. Instead of Noah, he found a man called Noah. Sixth chapter, God found a man called Noah. All right. Now. Uh, all right. Now. Uh, all right. Now. Uh, I'm tired of going to sin. You know, oh, all this stuff. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Praise the Lord. That's for somebody. Y'all, right. y'all, all right. If it don't let you go to sleep doing that, it'll make your sleep be peaceful. Do little bit you do get. Amen. Is that all right? But Romans twelve and two says, "But be you transformed by the renewing of your mind." This word "transform" uh, is defined as to change the appearance, the nature, the function, or the condition of a thing. It means to. Uh, take on a new image in the fullest sense of the word. Amen? To take on a new image, amen, in the fullest uh, sense of the word. Amen? Uh, 2 Corinthians 3 and 17, quickly. I got on the ground. I need to cover. Let me see. Can I move on? 2 Corinthians, uh, the third chapter. Glory to God. Seven ten. <laughs> oh, Sin. You know I love you, don't. <laughs> I just heard the Lord say, "Tell Cynthia I see her back there." Uh, Cynthia, the Lord said, "He see you back there." <laughs> I ain't even looking at. <laughs> Second Corinthians, the third chapter, y'all got uh, verse 17. It says, therefore, if any man be in Christ, is that right? No, that's not it. But I preach that. It says, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is what? Liberty. Amen. There is liberty. Amen. Uh, but we all with open face. And that liberty has to do with the freedom that you sense in your relationship with the Lord. You got that. I mean, you know, liberty to do whatever you want to do in the house of God. Whatever you get ready to do it. Amen. That, that means that there is no enmity between you and the Father. That means that you can come boldly before the throne of grace and obtain help uh, in the time of need. That means that, that, that there shouldn't be any condemnation dominating you in your life. Shouldn't be any fear. Uh, but the Spirit of the Lord is there. It's liberty. That's right. Y'all got it? Yeah. So we want to make sure that we write and divide that. Verse 18 says, But we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed uh, into the same image from glory to glory, even as by the Spirit, amen, of the Lord. Amen? Mm -hmm. And so that, that's basically talking about you being renewed or your mind is being renewed. 
He said, by beholding uh, the glory of the Lord, we're changed into that same image. And there are several ways that you can behold uh, the Lord. And one of the ways that you can do it is to see him in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. You got and to see the will of the Lord revealed to you in the scriptures. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Y'all hear what I'm saying? See, Jesus is the word. Yeah. Amen. Y'all y'all got it. And if you and if you really do a serious study, you can find Jesus uh mentioned in every book of the Bible. Mm -hmm. From Genesis to Revelation, you can find a revelation of Jesus. Yeah, right. Y'all got it, amen. And as we behold the Lord, we'll be changed into that same image. Y'all got it. Not just uh looking like him. Uh, from a character standpoint, but actually you begin to see how he thinks. Y'all got it? Because we have the mind of Christ, right? Amen. You begin to get a revelation, amen, of what goes on in his mind. Amen. Am I helping anybody? Amen. Hey, amen. And you begin to renew your mind to his mind. You got it? Uh, I told some people in class the other day, you know, quit trying to, to, to throw away with your mind because God gave you your mind. He just wanted to renew. You got the mind of Christ is resident in your spirit, and you have a mind. Y'all got, and God wants you to allow the mind of Christ to renew your natural mind. Or y'all or the spirit of your mind. Or y'all y'all understanding what I'm saying? Amen. And there are various ways, amen, that we can do that. And, and I'm gonna say to you today that it's a necessity. In order for you to walk this walk effectively, amen, and stand on top, amen, and going higher. Are y'all all right with that? Uh, your nature and your condition of your spirit change as a result of the influence of the Spirit of God when you accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Y'all understand that. You got born again. You know, so like Sister Kyle said the other night, your hands didn't look new. And your feet still stink, you know, so. See, you still had to work on them feet. Since God impressed me for some years now about going to the, the feet people. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm almost there. I'm getting real close. Almost. I told her that I just almost made up my mind that I'm going to go. Right now. The Bible says, How beautiful. Right now. Say that. Love to feed them. Y'all got it and see. We need to take both of the while to do that because we can buy these shoes yeah. that make our feet look, you know. I, go, amen. I go with your pastor. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Amen. So people, so people want to be hollering and trying to run in the bed when you touch them. <laughs> Y'all might be stabbed me. Y'all know I'm over now. Y'all know I'm over. Uh, <laughs> 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 said, said, he was, said he was sleeping. His wife went to work on his feet while he was sleeping. <laughs> she cut some of stuff off his feet and she had him walking like that. His feet were so angry. <laughs> And I was going to see, man, I had just about made up my mind. I was going to go. You done, you done turned me back now. <laughs> Don't cut on us. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> you work on me when I'm asleep. I'm <laughs>